Alrighty guys, so I got something new to here today to show y'all. Uh, just picked this up, pretty excited about it. So we got a Arrow M5, uh, chambered in 6.5 Creed 4, uh, of course, because uh, if you shoot 308, I don't know what to tell you. So the AR-10, pretty pretty generic here, nothing, nothing too crazy. But what I really wanted to show you is this Atlas bipod here. Uh, so I picked this up from a local gun shop guy had it and he told me he he didn't like them because he was big into the uh, CAC or the Knight's Armament bipods and uh, I said well, well if, if that's what you like that's probably what I better like and um, he said okay well I can sell you one and I said well what, what would it cost and uh, he said 1500 and I said well, well. <laughs> so there's the V8 model which is kind of their, their uh, low end if you will and the V8 model this leg here uh, rotates whereas this this next one I think they call it actually a PSR uh, it's different grade aluminum and it's got this slot or this channel cut out in the leg so now this leg uh, extension does not rotate which in my opinion is a much better design and you know it's just a really overall much more of a quality piece and I was really impressed with it I mean just him handed it to me and me messing around with it I was like yeah this is this is something that I can uh, enjoy and get a lot of use out of and it's it's got the you know quick detach uh, mount for your Picatinny rail and and the whole nine yards so I was happy to go ahead and agree to 200 bucks and and I got to looking at it well this bipod brand new I mean hell they're like three hundred dollars so I said well that'll work for me and and uh, gave him gave him the two Benjamins and out the door I went so got home and put it on this guy which uh, I wanted to get this not because of any reason in particular other than the fact that I've got a Tika in the 6.5 Creedmoor it's a the Tika T3X and it's got the Vortex PST, you know, Gen 2, uh, 526 by 50, I want to say is what it is. And so it's got pretty nice glass, but me and my brother went out shooting it the other day, and uh, we were nailing the target at 100 yards. And so we said, the hell, might as well just move her out to 300 and see what we can do. And, and uh, what was it, 47 rounds later, we didn't hit it one time. <laughs> and I think. I think, since that was the first time of us ever shooting long range, they've got this uh, adjustment on the side here. They call it parallax adjustment. And I don't think we had that adjusted right because the target was blurry, but you could see the trees and stuff clear as day. So I wonder if that goes back to that, the scope and the target are on two different planes. So anyways, I bought this gun and I'm going to put a... Uh, Oh, the new scope that everybody's going crazy about. It's the uh, Arkin, Arkin EP5. I'm gonna put that on there, and I'm gonna use the, the code that everybody's got to get the uh, one-piece mount, flip up caps, level, and all that stuff. So I'm gonna put that Arkin on here, and just see how it compares uh, to that Tika that's completely set up, it's in a chassis, and all that jazz. Which I don't, knowing that we, the shooters are the limiting factor um, in the equation. I have a feeling we're not going to be able to tell the difference between this gun and the Tika because we just can't shoot very well. But getting some ammo loaded up and uh, see if we can shoot it. But anyways, the point of this video was to show you that Atlas bipod and how I'm really impressed with it. And if, if you've got a chance to buy one, do it. Don't go with the V8. Go with the PS much better quality of the build. Uh, it really feels sturdy and, and uh, it'll last you a long time. As long as the gun will last you, this, this Atlas bipod will last you uh, that long and longer. So uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get out in a few weeks and, and shoot both of these and I'll kind of compare and contrast the bolt gun versus the uh, semi-automatic Aero uh, AR-10. So that's it. That's all I got for y'all. See ya. 
Anyways, I hope you all could hear me all right over the wind noise. Uh, this concludes the review of the Atlas Bipod. It really is a nice piece. Uh, you can pick it up anywhere, Brownells, Millspec Retail, uh, Primary Arms, anywhere. But uh, I definitely recommend going with the uh, second model. It's a little expensive, but worth it.